Canva Create happened yesterday and along with some other new features that were announced earlier this month, there is a ton of new Canva updates that you need to know about. So because there's a lot and I have a short attention span like many of you guys do, we're gonna hop right in. And the first one is the new Magic Grab. I know Magic Grab was here before, but it has changed now. So when we actually click into an item and we hit edit image and we go to Magic Grab, the difference now is that we can actually select what is grabbed. Before, you had no options versus now you can hover over things. I can move the plant, I can move my girl, I can move the seat over here, anything I want to grab. And right now, let's just select her and we're going to grab. This is a mock-up that I bought off Etsy. Not a photo of me that, or that I took, but now that she is no longer attached to the photo, I can just move her around on the seat. We can move over here, we can make her stand on the seat, which is not polite, or we can just get rid of her altogether. The next is the new Magic Media. We already had AI within Canva, but it has moved and it has improved. So if you come over to Elements and you cannot find what you're looking for. I want a goose, but I'm not finding any that I like. When I go to graphics and I actually go back into the search bar, I can see at the bottom here, there's generate images for goose. I can click on this. I can create an image, a graphic, or a video. For this one, I actually want a graphic. There's a bunch of different styles I can already pick from here. We've got vintage, we've got monoline, sketch, bunch of different clip art options that you can use. And I'm gonna do a little sticker version. And I'm trying to duck. Obviously, you can add a lot more to the prompt if you're looking for a silhouette. You can add the colors you're looking for. You can change up the style, but it'll spit back four options like this, and you can select one if it works with the project that you're trying to create. The next is called Blend. So my girl over here, she had a rough morning. She didn't sleep. She needs a really, really big coffee. So what I can do is select both images. So I have both the background and I have my cup selected. And then when I go to Edit Image, we're gonna see this app called Blend. And you can see what it's supposed to do here is lock in a product and make it look like it's part of the image behind it. We're gonna blend them. So far, I haven't had the best results with these, but let's see. So, so far looking at these, it AI blended a few different coffee cups that kind of just fit in with the color theme a little bit more. Sometimes it'll add a shadow at the bottom. Again, I haven't had the best results with these, but it does say it's new and improving, so hopefully it gets a little bit better. Canva's direction seems to be going towards very team and collaborative work. So they've introduced now whiteboards, which is pretty much just infinite space where people can put in all their information for a business. So you can have different things like different social media posts. You can have things, let me just zoom in here, like your brand kit, your company name, your color palette, anything that someone might need to know and access if they were creating branding for your shared business. Really, this is open to however you wanna use it. Some of the examples that they have and templates that they have are things like brand mood boards, project plans, roadmaps, SWATs, wireframes, and you can actually just put them all into one big file, given it's literally like infinite space in here that you could just fill up as you'd like. The next thing we have is some big edits to documents. So you can see I have a big PDF here. The first one is updates to Magic Write. So Magic Write is their AI tool in here that helps you write rewrite, translate, a whole bunch of things, but some new things that we have in here are change voice. And you can even add a brand voice that everyone on your team can access. So you can input maybe a paragraph from your website or something from your company that has and gives the style of your brand tone. Is it funny? Is it goofy? Is it serious? And then you can save this and apply it to all of the other texts in a document. So here I wrote my example text. Read it if you like or don't. But then they also give you a description of your voice. Your writing is casual and engaging, tailored to a youthful audience, blah, 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 blah. But pretty much you can save this. And then every time we can go to Magic Write, change voice, and we can add in that custom voice that we had just saved. 
And you can see what I got here. Yo bros, get ready to dive in the lit world of making stuff that people dig. This chapter is all about becoming a boss at creating content that's as cool as a sick pizza party. Don't forget to hashtag tag us when you're making waves. If you took the time to read what I put in there, you could see that this is pretty spot on. We also have this new thing under resize and magic switch called transform into doc. And if we hit this, we can transform this document into a blog post, a presentation, a LinkedIn post. We can make a poem from it. We can make song lyrics. Let's get a poem from my blog here. And now from that document, I have a weird poem. <laughs> So embark on a journey day and night in the vast world, make your choice. We got photos that were pulled from the document. It's got branding and everything. I don't know when you need a poem, but you'd probably need a presentation. The fact that you can also turn this into a blog post. There's just so many opportunities to use one file now and create so many different things. They've also made some changes to their video editor. Right now, one of the biggest ones that they've advertised is the enhanced audio. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have this yet. I don't think everything is rolled out. This was just announced. And usually, I'm in Canada, I don't get everything right away. But when you go to volume, there's supposed to be an extract audio and an enhanced audio feature, which you can use. But some of the other new things they have are things like auto trim and highlights. Auto trim brought my video from three minutes and 30 seconds down to a minute 30, possibly just grabbing at the most important points that it was able to pick up. And then we have highlights as well. And if we click on highlights, then we can see at the side here, this has pulled a bunch of little clips from this video into short form videos. So we have things like exciting Upsy update, introducing share and save, refunding Etsy fees, addressing critiques, so that you can pull important parts from this video out. Maybe you can make shorter videos, maybe you can remove parts. I absolutely love this part, it really helps me break down my videos. Those are the biggest ones that I could see on my platform, though there are a few more coming and some that you might not use unless you are using this for a business purpose, like these ones here, which are like creating assets at scale with Bolt Create. We went over these ones. We went over the Magic Switch, Magic Grab. There's also styles, which I don't have yet, where you, if you have a brand template, you can click on the dot, dot, dot and apply that style to a document so that it automatically formats it to look like it belongs to your business. So it's gonna apply all your colors, all your fonts to make it match your brand. And one thing I'm a little scared for, but excited for is the new Glow Up, which is pretty much a redesigned version of Canva. The sidebar is gonna be different. When we go to edit a photo, it's actually going to be on a different side. So we can see here what this is actually going to look like, but we're gonna to have to play with this when it actually comes out. And this is gonna be focused on, again, team collaboration, which seems to be the focus for this Canva Create because we're gonna get new ways to comment. So if you're working on something as a business, if you have something to change a recommendation, you can actually leave a comment on the file so someone can agree to that comment, disagree, but you can keep everything within the platform. And following this, they're also going to be integrating with things like Slack, Asana, Monday.com, all of the different platforms that usually businesses use as teams. Again, just to further enhance this collaboration within Canva. I'll link this for you guys in the description below and in the top of the comments if you wanna take a look at what's new in Canva yourself. Thank you guys 